Good afternoon, gentlemen. It's uh, 12 26 p.m. I got up early today at 10 30. And, um, well, actually, last night I wanted to go to bed early, but I didn't. Uh, I watched the WWDC keynote last night, which was great, good information. So now I'm over here at Chase. I just had to make a deposit here. Now I'm going to head over to uh, Great Clips and get a haircut because I'm not going to be able to until July. So we're going to go do that. And then I got to go over to NTB. So today's going to be the productive errand running day that I wanted yesterday to be. It's just about 82 degrees and uh, about half and half up there. So Arnold Palmer day. All right, check that off the list. Bank's done, haircut's done. Now NTB to order rotors. I don't know if I told you or not. They're squeaking again. It's because they turned them down too much, so it's rotor time again. So I'll go see what they recommend. I'm going to talk to the BMW guy over there who has an M3. Um, or actually, it's a 328 with an M3 engine in it that he uses as a race car. So I'm going to go talk to him, see what he recommends, and we'll get on that. 1.30. It's 1.30. That's what it is. Back home. I'm doing my errands, being productive. I talked to the guys over there. They said it's probably the brake rotor since they were turned down too much. So they pointed me in the direction of uh, the OEM rotors for the car, the non-slotted, which is fine, rotors from Turner. They're 140 a piece. So I'm going to go in and buy those, have those put on later. And I picked up the one tire. I'm glad I was able to get that. There it is, $333 for one of these things. Um, and that's going to go back here. When I get that wheel fixed, look how low that is on air. It's been pumped up in a day. So I'm going to do that. And I've actually got a couple other things to do today. So we'll keep working. Oh my god, that is a beautiful color on that S4. I love it. All right, guys, it's just about 2 o'clock right now in the morning. And uh, today was very productive. I got done what I wanted to get done. We got over to NTB. I got the OEM rotors ordered. I got something else ordered that's coming for the car. Um, they're coming Thursday. And now it's about 65 degrees out here at 2 o'clock. I just came out here to film this clip, realized I didn't have the camera, but I've been out here for like 10 minutes stargazing, looking up there. It's a perfectly clear night, and I know the flip will never display all the stars up there, but it's incredible. We don't have a lot of clear nights here. And um, it's interesting to think every single one of those things up there, thousands, tens, hundreds of thousands of miles away, is a piece of rock or gas I guess but still that's sunlight reflecting off all of those anyways interesting mind-boggling to say the least kind of appreciating the smaller things in life and that's not even true because those things are probably bigger than well, they're bigger than me <laughs> so anyways today was productive as I said I got the watch later playlist down to eight last night I wanted to get that down and kind of finish it up but I ended up watching the WWDC keynote until about five in the morning, well, which was not a good idea. But I got up today and got everything done like I said I wanted to do. So tomorrow he's going to bring, my dad's going to bring the Ferrari over. We're going to clean that up. Um, it hasn't even been washed this year. So it's just dusty and, you know, sat all winter. It's got stuff on it, road crap. So we're going to do that. Um, looking forward to that. Um, I was going to talk about the wheels on the car, actually. This is going to be a long clip. If you don't care and you're done for today, I'm just going to just gonna talk about stuff. So if you guys wanna go, that's fine. This was day 548 and I'll talk to you tomorrow. For those of you who are bored and don't have anything better to do, welcome back. And I need to open the garage, come out here. Okay, so I'm gonna have this new tire. Here's the new tire, I think I showed it to you before. That's going on the right rear after they fix that wheel. I'm gonna get the other tire later. Um, these are extra wheels that I have that came with the car. They're the front size, the wheels on the back are about that much wider. Two, about two inches wider. You can actually see this is a front wheel and that's a rear tire so you can see how much wider the rear wheels and tires are. But the previous owner of this car who's in Denver now bought these wheels to use in the back with different size tires in the winter. He didn't want to have the nice wheels and the wide tires on in the winter. Uh, so he gave me the wheels and said you know buy tires if you want and put them on in the winter. Well I didn't. I kept the, the nicer wheels and the big tires on and it was fine in the winter if you can drive it easily. So, these wheels probably went through a few winners. They're not in perfect shape, but this wheel here on the left is in significantly better shape than my front right wheel. This is the worst wheel on the car. The, um, the finish has kind of started to, I don't know, erode. It's not flaking, it's just not as nice as the outside. And then around here, there's some corrosion going on, and this BMW badge isn't in great shape. And then along the edge, there's a mark there and a bunch of stuff. 
So I'm thinking when I have the car in, I think July 2nd is when I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to have them take that front right wheel off and use this one and then just remount and balance the existing tire on that wheel. Sorry, the left one. So that'll be nice to get that done. Then I'll have two extra wheels. I may put them up on eBay or Craigslist somewhere, see if I can get some money for them. I don't have any plans. My front left one's fine. It's just the front right's always been a little rattier. So we'll work on that. So tomorrow's Thursday, Wednesday already, the 13th. Um, it's gonna be kind of busy, I think. I'm gonna meet Jack for lunch, which will be nice over at Panera. And then I'm debating either going to the pool and kind of relaxing, and here's all my pool stuff, so I could do that. It's only gonna be 72 degrees, so it would kind of be a hot tub lay in the sun day. Or I could be productive, come home, and do the two yards that I need to mow here and next door driveway side, that white house I did the mulch for. So I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Um, I'd like to do both, but that won't work out because he's going to come over and do the car tomorrow night or afternoon. So I'll stick around for tomorrow and we'll see how productive I can be. Getting more stuff done, it feels good. Getting ready for next week. Cleaned out my change today. Every few months I go through my little change purse thing and get rid of all my change. So this time I got uh, $15.50. Kenan did his, he got like $170 in change. That's ridiculous. Whenever I get change, well, I either give it to him, or I leave it somewhere, or put it in the little kitty thing, or give it to somebody, or throw it in the fountain. I hate carrying change around and having to bring it home, but I guess if I did that, I would have more, but whatever. I'm just going to take that and get some cash for it, you know, candy money. And a few of you pointed out that I didn't talk at all about WWDC yesterday, so I'll kind of put my thoughts on that. I did watch the keynote. Um, we got new MacBook Pros, a new MacBook Pro, a new MacBook Air, iOS 6, and OS 10 Mountain Lion. I'm actually most excited for Mountain Lion, I think. Um, I'm not going to upgrade the MacBook Pro right now. I only use it for YouTube videos, emails, and making vlogs. Um, as much as I would love a retina display and faster stuff and thinner and lighter, I lose the functionality to change my RAM. I couldn't have a data doubler in there anymore. I can't change the SSD that's on the board. And I don't know if I like that. That's always been something I didn't like about the MacBook Airs. It's not really upgradable and customizable. But those are the steps forward to make a lighter, compact, better machine, I guess. So I'm not going to upgrade that. iOS 6 will be nice, and I'm definitely going to go Mountain Lion next month. So that's exciting. But I guess those are really good updates. Apple's staying on top. They impressed me with what they did. Um, the last couple of years, it kind of felt like they just put upgrades in just to keep, keep, with, uh, keep on top. But this year, they're really taking it several steps further, and now they're definitely making the best products in the world again, which is good. I'm glad Apple's staying up there. So before I talk for another 10 minutes, that's it for me. I'm going to put this together. Mostly the videos I have to watch are uh, CTFXC and Shaytards vlogs, which are always enjoyable. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Wednesday. Good night.